Hey, welcome back to the Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this quick video today. And today we did like a little Walmart haul. We just wanted to go out and see what we could get for 50 bucks. 50 bucks, that's it. Didn't get a lot. As you can see what's on this table here. I mean, we really didn't get a lot of product here. This is pretty sad, folks. All right. So what we did end up getting was I got some ramen noodles. All right, ramen noodles are really good and everything else to have on hand. For the simple fact, I don't like using the pouch that they send in the ramen noodles. All I want is the noodles. Because then you can add anything that you want. You can cook those up in water, boiling water, or whatever else. They cook in no time. A lot faster than regular pasta and everything else. And you can add a lot of different things to them and make a nice little meal. You don't have to use a seasoning pack in there that's got like, oh, enough sodium in there to, to kill a horse, if you get what I'm saying. Um, we did score a few things of, uh, quote, meat uh, in the video that you saw on Sunday with the uh, Walmart prices and stuff, you know. So I picked up this luncheon meat, right? Buck 98. A can of Spam is 3.98. It's two dollars more, and I actually think that the Walmart brand has a better flavor than the Spam does. Now Spam comes in all different flavors, so it's well on what you can afford and what you want to do. Got some tuna fish, some chicken. Picked up some ranch dressing. We got two of these. All right, two ranch dressings, two mayonnaise. As I tell you, you stockpile things that you're going to use and eat. Use it as a daily pantry, however you want to do it. This way here, you know, we go through a lot of different ranch dressings and a lot of different uh, recipes and everything else. Um, Parmesan cheese. Uh, yes, well, they didn't have any small ones, so I had to buy the big, huge one, uh, which is fine with me. We go through it enough. Uh, we needed some extra salt. I didn't feel like pulling the salt and stuff out of the all my different buckets and stuff that I have salt put away so I just picked up a couple extra ones I picked up some thin spaghetti the reason I did there wasn't very many left on the shelf and I like to keep a large supply of pasta and rice now let's just face it you have pasta and rice and you can filter in anything else and make a meal it's a fact of nature here folks picked up some breadcrumbs a couple breadcrumbs Two jars of the Alfredo sauce, because my wife does like Alfredo sauce. Four cans of spaghetti sauce. Um, the Hunts used to be a buck. Used to be 98 cents at Walmart. And now uh, the traditional is still 98 cents. The rest of them are a dollar, 15 or something a can. A couple things of egg noodles, some stove top, and that about does it. This is 50 bucks, folks. Now, right around this time last year, I did a big, huge, you all can go back and watch the videos. Maybe I'll put a link up over here so that you can, you can watch the video. I did a huge $300 haul from Walmart. And you can see all the different products and stuff that I got in that compared to what 50 bucks got me today in the store. At least we did get some meat, some chicken, tuna, green beans we got some ramen noodles sauce spaghetti you know what 50 bucks so even if you could take ten dollars all right dollar 98 a can traditional spaghetti sauce 98 cents a can all right spaghetti is 88 cents just giving you some ideas on what you can do with your money you can start to prep. You can start to put things up and you can be prepared so that you can see that all these different types of goods and stuff that you will be able to use and put away for any type of disaster, any type of natural disaster, man-made disaster, whatever it could be. We just don't know nowadays. So you need to start doing your prepping. This is a Walmart prep, 50 bucks. Show you what you can get for $50. And hey, you know, the store wasn't uh, really packed too much. So you all need to get out there. You need to get your prepping done. You need to start putting stuff away for the rainy days that are coming because the flood is about to roll in. And you better be building your ark. Just saying, folks, the writing is on the wall. 
So I'm Survival Preparedness Beginners. Thank you for joining me in this quick video today. I hope you all stay safe. You keep prepping. Until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side.